Let's create a new Maven project inside of VS Code. So the fastest and easiest way to do this is to go to your extensions and type in Maven. And what you'll find is Maven for Java. We want to install this Maven for Java. Now we can close out of this and then we can go and hit Control Shift P or you can go to View Command Palette to open up the command palette. Now I'll type in Maven and you'll see the first option is New Project. So I'll hit enter to open up new project. Now you can create one with no archetype or you can create one with any of the existing Maven archetypes. What I'll do is I'll use the quick start archetype because I think that's one of the most popular ones. So now I'll hit enter and it's gonna ask me what version I want to use for that archetype. I'll select the most recent version, which is 1.4. And now it's asking me what kind of group ID I want for my project. For now, I'll just do com.example just for this tutorial. Then it asks me the artifact ID. This is usually your project name, so you'll want to name this whatever your project is. For now, I'll just do tutorial and I'll hit enter. So now it opens up this window and it's asking me where I want the project directory to be. Now it will create the folder itself. So it's not going to put all of the files into this particular directory. So what you can do is select the parent directory that you want the project to exist in. So I'm just gonna select this tutorials directory that I have and select destination folder. Now it's going to run the Maven archetype command in your terminal and it will eventually ask you a few questions. So you can see down here at the bottom, it says define value for property version. For me, I'm just gonna leave it at the default, which it's selecting 1.0 snapshot and I'll hit enter. Then it asks me if all of these configurations are correct. They look correct, so I'll hit enter again. Now it's telling me that the build is successful and I get this pop-up that says, hey, do you want to open this folder? Yes, I wanna open it up in VS Code. So now that it's opened up in VS Code, you can see over here on the left-hand side, we have a source folder and inside here we have a main and now we have an app.java file. If we double click this, we can open it up and you can see that this is just some boilerplate printing out a hello world. One of the suggestions or recommendations that VS Code comes up with is having you install a Java version for your project. Over here in the extensions, we can type Java and it will come up with the extension pack for Java inside of VS Code. We'll want to install this. I already have it installed, but you'll want to hit install and it will automatically install all of the language server pieces that you need in order to develop properly inside of VS Code. Now there's one issue that I noticed with that Maven quick start archetype is that it sets the language source to JDK 1.7 instead of something else more recent. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to open up the palm.xml we can change this source to, instead of 1.7, we'll change it to 17. And this should automatically build and run the Java application using JDK 17. It also asks me, hey, a build file was modified. Do you want to synchronize the Java class path configuration? I always say yes, so that it will automatically build using this compiler source. So now let's actually run the project. If we open up to where the main function is, we can open this file and then go to run and then start without debugging. And it should automatically compile and then run the application. You can see here that we printed out hello world. Now you'll notice that it's not actually using anything Maven related. It's just using the compiled resources that automatically get built with that Java extension and then running those classes directly through the terminal. But say now we want to maybe use Maven and package the application using Maven. Over in the bottom left, you can see that we have a tab for Maven. If we bring this down, it should populate with our application. Then if we open that up, we can open up the lifecycle and we can actually choose, let me expand this. We can actually choose a lifecycle to run. So let's run the package lifecycle. So that packaged our project and you can see that its output is here, which is in our target directory over on the left. And you can see the tutorial 1.0 snapshot.jar. Now, if this is the first time that you're running Maven inside of VS Code or inside your terminal, you might actually run into an error where it can't find the JDK that you're trying to use. In that case, you actually need to either set an environment variable and restart VS Code, or you can go into the settings and actually change the JDK that Maven is using. To do that, let's go to the extension that we just had open. 
for Maven. And then if we hit the manage cog, we can open up this menu and then go to extension settings. Let's close out of the terminal for now. We'll scroll down until we find a custom environment setting. If we keep scrolling down, you can see now we have this Maven terminal custom env. If we hit edit in settings.json, it automatically creates this environment variable for us and we can give it a value of where our JDK exists. If you don't already have a JDK, you'll need to download one from any of the vendors that offer it. Since I already did this, yours might look without this setting. So it will look like this and you'll just need to add that field, that environment variable and value to this settings. And it automatically saves. So now if I close out of this, I can then run any of the Maven lifecycle tasks that I want. So if I just wanted to install, I could hit play and it will install my application. And that is how you create a Maven project for Java inside of VS Code.